So would we describe this as the material or the spiritual world? Which one would you say this is that you can see at this moment? Is this tree a physical tree or is it a spiritual tree? You might be able to hear distant bird song. Is that material or is it spiritual? Is there spiritual life in the physical? And is there physical in the spiritual life? Which is which? Perhaps we're talking about being grounded. The spiritual life needs to be grounded. The leaves on the ground are on the ground. So perhaps what I'm really talking about is being a little more earthy in our approach to spirituality. Allowing everything that is grounded to come in and find us. That's the truly primitive way. Which is spiritual and which is physical in this graveyard? Are the gravestones more spiritual or are they more physical? Is the yew tree more spiritual or is it more physical? I know what I would rather leave the care of my soul to. Food for thought. We used to say there was spirit in everything. The river in the distance would have had a great spirit about it. I believe that birds and animals still see this. And when we see buildings, even if they're quite old, like the old abbey, the ruins that I'm filming, we might still have seen them with a spirit at some point, but that changed as we became far more materialistic in our approach. Then we started to see the buildings and the material things before the trees and before we could hear the bird song. There are noises in the distance, but look, nature is still with us. Have yourself discover and rediscover what the earth is about. You're not going to stop the material world from playing itself out around you. You can see the spirit in all the things that were once believed to have contained spirit in a primitive fashion. That's what we need to cling to. Cling to the primitive. The primitive idea of spirituality. Walk with the trees, listen to the bird song, appreciate what's there. We all know she's falling apart at this moment in time. Courtesy of self-centered people. And what we label the spiritual, maybe that's not as elevated or as perfect as we believe it to be. I think being grounded, as I said earlier, seeing the leaves, feeling the leaves that are under our feet on the ground, it's getting back to the nitty gritty of what we consider life to be. And yes, perhaps that's it, perhaps it's life that we're talking about. Life in all its forms, whether it's physical or whether it's spiritual. Let's bring the two together, understand a little more of what their relationship might just be to us. <laughs> 